What's up, Raf gang? Welcome back to another video. Uh, it is my birthday, by the way. Yes. Another year in the books. Uh, this is a video I've been wanting to make for a long, like probably a month now, maybe a month and a half. It's about the, my current router uh, for the Raf cave in my home. Um, <clears throat> uh, it all started when I uh, left Xfinity and went to Quantum Fiber, which was previously uh, known as CenturyLink. And uh, quantum fiber uh, has the fiber internet, which is uh, a gig up and a gig down. So I'm like, well, I made a video about the installation process of the CenturyLink fiber. So all the lines and the things were already connected. So they basically just came out and just turned it on. But they also gave me these uh, Wi-Fi 360 pods. Um, so these pods you kind of put in various spots of the house to kind of give you a mesh or a, a cloud of Wi-Fi throughout your home. So I hooked up to three three pods and I kind of spread out the, 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 the speed throughout my home, but the speeds were not like a gig. You know what I mean? It was just like maybe hundred, 200 and my son's room, uh, second floor, his, uh, Xbox series X, uh, never really had good speeds. It was really terrible. So I'm like, well, this not works. This not, this doesn't work. Right. And as we're gaming, he's mentioning that the internet's cutting out and he's dropping and he's glitching and he's, he's a lot of problems with the gaming. So I'm like, well, this sucks. It's, it's not going to happen. So I returned the, uh, the 360 Wi-Fi pods back to quantum fiber and I'm like, I'm going to get my own router. So that was when it started this journey of what's going to be the best router, not the best, but the most efficient router for my internet speeds and my home. And then my son's Xbox series X upstairs to give him the best overall connectivity, speed and s consistent Wi-Fi signal. So you'll see my. It's kind of like a vlog. It's what I've tried and returned and tried and returned and tried, tried et cetera, et cetera. So this is not going to be like a, a, a speed comparison of every single router I've done. It's just going to be my impressions of what I've done in my vlog of the journey that I went through and testing these different routers in my son's room to get his Series X getting the best uh, signal for gaming and what I ended up at the very end. So uh, if you're curious... Uh, to my journey of routers, uh, please continue to watch and drop a like and subscribe, of course, and I appreciate you. But yeah, this is kind of just a compilation compilation of all these different routers I've uh, experienced and tried in the raft cave. So yeah, join me on this little journey and I'll just show you the videos that I made uh, of what I've done. Appreciate it. So let's get it. All right, I got to put in a few uh, tidbits to give context to some of these uh, images here. Uh, so unfortunately... When I did this video unboxing, uh, the, my microphone was complete garbage. So uh, I threw away that video. So I apologize. But basically, I did an unboxing of the AXE 7800 from TP Link. That was the, actually the first router that I purchased. Um, hooked it up and it was great. I was like, whoa, I'm getting great speeds upstairs. My series, Sun Series X was connected good. Speeds were, you know, just 200s up and down. But it was consistent, no dropouts, and he was fine, right? And uh, it's been fine. So I was like, cool, this is working all right. But you know, you get that little itch, like there's something a little faster that you can get, you know? So, you know, you know how it goes, uh, you know, the RAF cave. So we went to look to see what the next big thing was, and it was the AXE 16000. And uh, I swapped it out with that spider. And speeds are fantastic. I got more speeds in, in his room, a Series X. Everything was working just fine. And I was happy. Uh, and I think that's kind of where I'd... Where, yeah. Then you'll see my other clips in my vlog. So just want to give context of this picture. Uh, I think so. Uh, yeah. Let's uh, move on to the re other videos. Let's go. All right, guys. We have been hooked up. And it looks sweet. Love the LED layout. And the thick antennas. Very nice, high quality router. Got the 2.5 gigabits going to my PC. Got the 2.5 from my router or modem, power cable, and then I got three standard gig outputs there. So yeah, so far this has outperformed the uh, the 7800. So this will be the de facto router for now current champion of my router tour 
is the TP-Link AXE 19000. I did bring this little guy in to see if he can hang with the big boys. And, uh, yeah, it really couldn't. Decent router. I like it. Netgear um, Nighthawk's got a great app. It looks cool. It's got a fan inside. But the speeds just didn't get up to uh, the top floor as fast as this beast. So this one's got to go. And on to the next one. And that's Journey to Find the Router of the Raft Cave. Cur current champion is TP-Link. Bye-bye, Netgear. Kylo Ren ship. Now, you guys remember I did a video of one of these uh, way back on the channel. I think it was the AX11000, not the AXE. So if you want to research that on the channel, I did an unboxing of the Nighthawk before. So, anyway, see ya. What's up, Raft Gang? Welcome back to another unboxing video. This is going to be a video on a different router that we're going to try to see if we can beat this guy here. This is uh, the AXE 16000. Picked this up last night and uh, it's been fantastic uh, so far. So love it. This is the de facto right now, but there is one more contender I want to give a try before I finalize the Raft Cave router. And that is... Just plugged it in and it's giving me a nice little light show here. All right, Raft Gang. So when I was making that video of just picked up the the 16,000 and now I'm going with, I have no idea how that video cut out. It just completely just stopped. I'm like, and anyway, so what I drug in was a box of the uh, TP-Link uh, BE78. I don't know. Anyway, it's, it's a Wi-Fi 7 router, Wi-Fi 7. Right, so Wi-Fi 7 is the next evolution of Wi-Fi 6E. It's the next step up with Wi-Fi uh, speeds, and you know I wanted to try the latest and greatest in the Raft Cave. And as I as you see here, it's hooked up, and I made another video after after this, so I'll let you see that. But I just want to show you why there wasn't like a a box reveal because I made a whole unboxing video of it. And gosh, it's just crazy how technology doesn't work for you. Did the unboxing? It was a cool box where it kind of opened like a like the Xbox Series X just opened up like this and then the, it's, a, it's just standing there in the middle of the box and it was just this cool unboxing experience. Anyway, let's continue the vlog. It is a big boy. <laughs> I have to work on uh, placement uh, here to get it more stable. But uh, it's definitely the largest router I've had in the Raft Cave for sure crazy light show is pretty cool it is a beast all right well i'm gonna go set it up through the app and uh get her going cool all right raft gang uh, did some tests upstairs decent speeds nothing mind-blowing but the worst part is my my son's xbox 360 uh, xbox series x got the worst Wi-Fi speeds of any of the routers I've tested in the last few days. So the this here, right there, that face, uh, it's going away. So say goodbye to the Wi-Fi 7 router in the Raft Cave. Uh, nice knowing you. Uh, not really. Uh, but yeah, you're out of here. All right, this is Raf. On to the next one. All right, Raf gang. We have another router to try out and see if it tops the last. Uh... It's continuing on this router journey. Uh, let's try this guy. Asus. You remember Asus. I had a bunch of these spiders on the channel. Check out my other unboxings of the Asus 11,000. So now we got the AXE 16,000 quad band Wi-Fi 6. So let's give this a shot and unbox it and look at it and turn it on and see what it looks like. And see, hopefully, we get better speeds or consistent speeds on all my devices. So let's get this unboxed. Wrapped up, taped up, looking beautiful. There we go. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy you don't have to actually put this, the 
the antennas in one by one. They are attached. Thank you. And uh, yeah, here's your router. There's your LAN ports in the back. USB power adapter. See the front. Lift up the plastic on all the antennas. Some nice sturdy thick antennas here. Oh, make sure they're all upright. This, is a, this feels like a solid, solid, nice router, man. Wow. Good ventilation. And of course you have the, uh, the wrap on top here, guys. to a beautiful reflective router there all right plug it in and hopefully immediately get the speeds that i want all over the house and the xbox series x router test so hopefully uh this is the one fingers crossed for now all right guys here it is Asus AXE 16,000 quad band gaming router. Looks pretty sweet. Awesome LED with the mirror on top. <laughs> Connections are great. And uh, yeah, the RGB is fully customizable on the app. Any color, you can pulse it, you can static it you can wave it rainbow it all kinds of cool stuff with it don't mind that power cord that's for something else but yeah here it is huge so it looks good all right guys so um as you notice the tp link axe 16000 is back connected and i have the asus axe 16000 in my hand getting ready to be reset and sent back. Where's that reset? Yeah, the reset pin right there. Um, so I want to give props to this because of the interface. The interface is the best I've seen on a router. Um, the Merlin uh, firmware is always awesome to try out as well. Uh, the Android app is fantastic. A lot of good specs on there. Just really cool uh, interface for this. That's a win over all the other routers. So that's number one. Uh, the range uh, is best with this one. I'm getting uh, Wi-Fi in front of my yard, which I wasn't with this one, but the speeds are not as fast in my home as the TP-Link. The speeds on the Xbox 360, or Xbox 360, the Xbox Series X in my sunroom uh, was the fastest with the TP-Link. So great for range, not so much on speed uh, for Wi-Fi, so this one's going back and uh, this one's remaining champ for now. Thank you, Asus. It was nice to see you again. Maybe your Wi-Fi 7 routers will be the, the king, but for now it's only a tri-band, not a quad band. So quad band Wi-Fi 7 is the TP-Link. All right, Raf gang. Since the uh, TP-Link temporarily uh, has not worked. All right, Raf gang, just gonna interject here for a moment to explain why we have this Zen Wi-Fi triple pack and a different router. <clears throat> All right. So back to the the TP-Link Wi-Fi 7, the B, BE700 or something like that. Um, another reason why I didn't want to keep the Wi-Fi 7 is that I have no Wi-Fi 7 devices. I have zero Wi-Fi 7 devices, laptops, computers, or consoles, or even phones. Uh, even 6E, uh, I have one device, and that's my samsung galaxy s23 ultra that's the only device in my entire house that uses wi-fi 6e so having that 6e channel for one device is virtually useless and especially since it only has about a 50 foot range for the max speeds i'm not going to stand around my router all day to use my phone on that on that band so that is a, a band that's uh wasted so for, for everyone that's looking for a 6e router 
make sure you have more than five or six devices that can take advantage of it or it makes no sense. Now you see here the ROG Rapture uh, GT, uh, G, GX 11,000. From now on, I'm sticking with the, the GX. I think it's, no, it's AX, sorry, AX. I'm sticking with AX because all my devices, most, well, majority of them can use 6E or Wi-Fi 6. That's still compatible with, with a lot of my devices. So having that Wi-Fi 6 or tri-band 2.4 and 5 and the AX and all that stuff for the Wi-Fi 6 is very good. That's something that I would keep at a baseline for everyone that's looking for a new router. Just get Wi-Fi 6. The E is a, is not really feasible unless you have a ton of device like a hand. Just go for Wi-Fi 6 and you're good to go. Wi-Fi 7 is way out there. Not, not really relevant right now. Wouldn't recommend wasting all that money to get a Wi-Fi 7 really for what, right? All right, so now that we have set a standard of what's good, maximizing performance and maximizing your dollar, go with an AX router. That's number one. Now, the reason why I did the three the three pods is you remember the TP-Link uh, 16,000, the quad band, which I loved. It was fantastic. It just didn't give me the speeds uh, in my son's room. So what I did was I tried a, an extender or a, a mesh uh, pod extender for TP-Link to have some kind of a nice two antenna white uh, plug thing. I put that in his bedroom and it was pretty good. It actually boosted the speeds, but it had some dropouts. So that was a bummer. And since I loved Asus for being the range, I wanted to get that range with speed. And that's the um, the AI Mesh, which Asus is top notch. I did a video on AI Mesh from, from Asus, and I love the AI Mesh technology. It's where you can pair virtually any Asus router with each other, and they communicate to create a blanket. But they have these really cool uh, Wi-Fi, uh, Zen Wi-Fi uh, systems here, which will start another journey of the Wi-Fi Zen, uh, Zen Wi-Fi. So uh, I started with this little package here, the three pods to put around my house and see how that works. So little rant is over. Let's continue this journey. Let's go. We're going to try the Asus AX11000 Pro, the new one here. Uh, and we're going to also connect the uh, Asus Zen Wi-Fi XD5 pods around the house to have the ultimate coverage of AI Mesh, hopefully. Let's go. All right, Graf gang, another update, another Wi-Fi test of uh, the range of the Mesh, AI Mesh. So we tried the AX6600, the uh, X, uh, X T8. And uh, I mean, they got more speed than the other small pods I had. Um, but not uh, to the same degree as the 11,000 uh, Pro. Uh, so these are going back. But uh, sneak preview of what my final system will be. And it's two AX11,000 Pros. That's where we're going to be. Let's talk about that. All right, guys, so, so far, so great. These two together as a system is pretty damn awesome. Don't really have a complaints, but there's this one itch in my brain that I have to try. I want to try the ROG Rapture GT6, the dual mesh Wi-Fi system. So I want to disconnect this one, just keep this guy's the main router downstairs in the raft cave, and I want to install these two in the main floor and the second floor. And just compare and see which one I feel is the better way to go. Now this system is pretty damn powerful. It's basically AX10,000. Pretty close to the AX11,000. But you get two of these pods that have all the gaming features of the gaming router. And... Uh, yeah, they're meant to be paired together. So check out the range and make sure uh, I get at least the same signal, if not better. So yeah, I'll get them installed and uh, see how they see how they go. 
Will it be just the two AX10,000 11,000 Pros or one 11,000 Pro with the GT6? So I think that'll be it. I think the road to the end is finally upon us here. All right, back with my uh, impressions. All right, guys, so as much as I love the GT6 Asus ROG mesh two pack system, uh, my router is so good that it basically rendered the second pod useless. It got maybe two devices on it. So I ended up returning the two pack and I'm just gonna go with a really good one pack. I believe this is the final road to complete Asus Wi-Fi mesh whole home coverage. And that's with the Asus AX11000 Zen Wi-Fi Pro XT12. Not the AXE because we don't have a Wi-Fi 6E item unless we're talking about the thing that I'm using to film this video with. So it doesn't make sense to get an AXE. I'm gonna stick with AX and get the top speed for AX and that's this guy right here. A beautiful tower that'll go upstairs to handle all my Wi-Fi needs. Let's get it. Yeah, this is pretty cool. It's like a, a ivory tower. A cool uh, skyscraper futuristic thing. Got all the, all the antennas inside here going crazy. And uh, yeah, pretty sweet. Got your four Ethernet ports. 2.5G. Pretty good, pretty good. All right. All right, it's booting up. Looking pretty sweet. That LED. It's almost like a, a MCU from Tron. The central computer brain in there. I like it. I like it. Goes really well with the aesthetics of the room. Internet port's hooked up. Looking good. Just gonna go through the app and get it installed. Add it to the mesh network and do its thing. Sweet, I like it. All right, Raf Gang, just gonna interject for the last time here on this uh, vlog of routers that I've went through. Um, originally, the reason why I went with two routers it's because I wanted to have you know the, the best quality of, of AI mesh. But realistically, having a giant spider in a room really isn't aesthetically pleasing in a bedroom. So that's the reason why I went with the, the Zen Wi-Fi Pro uh, AX12. is because it just looks fantastic. On top of that speaker, it's, it's just a nice little tower and the same performance of a giant spider router. So that's why I went with that instead. Now, uh, as you can see this picture here, here... Uh, I did try the dual pack of the uh, X, X, uh, XT Pro, uh, XT12 Pro. And like before the GT6 ROG 2 pack, it, same thing here. It rendered the second pod virtually useless. Only two to three devices tops. And it's like, you know what? Just stick with one really great pod. So maybe for you, it might be best to have the two. Uh, but for having having the AX11000 Pro as the base, um, just one is plenty. But you can actually use that two-pack as your main router and your mesh router too. You don't have to have the spider. You can just do the, the two-pack. But otherwise, guys, let's uh, clean this video out and finish it up. Um, I am completely happy with the AX11000 Pro uh, downstairs in the raft cave because it doesn't have to be AXE. I don't need the four, four bands because the 6E band for one device is virtually pointless. So that's why I wanted the 2.4 and a 5 and having that third 5 as the uh, as the AI mesh backhaul. So that separate that that third band is strictly to connect uh the AX12 Pro and the AX11000 router together. And that gives me full 2.4 uh and and 5 throughout and Wi-Fi 6 of course throughout the house. So it's been it's been fantastic for me. No dropouts, the best gaming speed, the lowest ping. The, the widest range, all my devices are happy and just on fire for speeds. I am completely done and satisfied. And I wanna thank you if you've made it to this point in the video, uh, say Asus for the win, you know. Uh, I love Asus uh, through Netgear and TP-Link and I've even had uh, Linksys before too. 
Asus has been my number one favorite. I'm really happy that I landed with them. And uh, yeah, I'm good to go. So uh, yeah, AX11000 Pro and the Zen Wi-Fi X-T12 Pro. Good to go. Happy, done, satisfied. All right, guys. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hit that like button on it. Appreciate it. Subscribe if you're new. And uh, if you have any comments, let me know below. Otherwise, uh, yeah, I'm good to go, guys. Have a good one. Home theater rules. Wrap up. See ya.